very important job. Now there's an officer. The big overseer, fat guy. I guess we'll talk to him. I cannot get there though. <laughs> Obviously. Have you found the chip? Okay, dokey. One moment. The chip is initializing. Here, 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 here. There it goes. Self-test is great. Reboot is good. Ha! It's working! And it looks like we have a winner! <laughs> oh, you've... You saved the vault. You should be proud. But now we need your report. We'll get it from you in the library. Please, go there now. Hmm, okay. Seventy five hundred experience points for saving the vault dwellers. Not bad. Not bad at all. Throwing. We're gonna go ahead and increase that to seventy even. So we can use our newfound grenades. Alright. Dow Phoenix kicking some ass, folks. That's right. Let's get those messages here. Yeah, there's a water thief. Someone's head got busted. Who cares? People are just panicking, as always. We're back to talking to the Overseer. Which, for some reason, always seems like an asshole in the Fallout games. Why, there be I, a... I, uh, I just wanted to let you know that the water supply is stabilized. Actually, we're rebuilding our reserves. You did great. I, uh, I am a little concerned, however. Hmm. About what? I, I don't like your reports. What was in the reports, that is. <laughs> in fact, they scared the heck out of me. It's those mutants. I've done some calculations and... Well... I've come to an unpleasant conclusion. Oh no! Unpleasant conclusion! Next time on Fallout, the Overseer reveals his real sexual identity. Tune in to find out. Mutant population is far greater than could be expected by natural growth or mutations. This leads me to believe it. I don't really understand it, but it looks like someone's generating new mutants, and at a startling rate. Exactly. And as you've probably guessed, none of these mutations could have occurred naturally, even with the radiation from the war. As long as someone is creating hostile mutants at this rate, the vault's safety is at stake. Find and destroy this lab as soon as you can. My guy is like the littlest bitch ever known. He's like, okay, I'll do that. You know, he's out in the wilderness for like a hundred days almost. And he's like, fuck it, let's do this. Oh. That's all you gotta say? Okay, well, I'm glad that you enjoyed that, but I want some other fucking weapons. Oh, God. <sighs> what a stupid bitch. 
<laughs> it's like WTF, you know? It's like, I want some motherfucking weapons and I want them now. That's all I care about. Has the mutant laboratory been discovered yet? Good, but hurry, the more time. Oh, jeez. I swear, the overseer, he's, you know, he's your manager, basically. He's a manager. So we got the same fucked up situation we got earlier, and still we got poor management going on. So there's really no need for a water guard anymore since they have plenty of water now. You could just leave. Alright. Well, we've learned really nothing here in Vault 1. Um, we're gonna go back to the Brotherhood of Steel. We're gonna spin our caps to increase our skills to the maximum possible levels. Because that's down Phoenix Way. You ever remember these caves? From, you know, Fallout 1. Fallout 1. Fallout. Well, duh, this is Fallout 1. I mean, part 2 of the uh, video series. You know, the first part of actual gameplay. That's ultimately what I am talking about here. We're going back to the Brotherhood of Steel, though, before we go to this military base. We don't know exactly where it is. We know that it's north of the Brotherhood of Steel. So we're going to be looking around up there. Hurry it up. Alright, let's see what we got here. Another stupid rad scorpion. I think he's actually going to kill me. There you go. Alright, one less red scorpion to deal with here in the Fallout world. I relish the opportunity to kill random things like that. There is one place I did want to visit just because there were some pricks. Those raiders. We'll test out our newfound abilities on them. Let's see, level 2. Go. Now, one thing I do like about these Brotherhood people is they don't get whiny when you're walking around with your gun. They're cool with that. I think. I don't know. Alright, let's... We're spending a good caps here. I'm injured. <laughs> well, that's not bad. Nice. Now we have agility. That's the last one. Okay, so let's look at our attributes. See, look at that. That's beautiful. 7 strain, perception, 5 endurance, 6 charisma, 9 intelligence, eight, 7 agility. So our character is a little more badass than they were before. Now we equip that power armor again. We're back up to ten. Ten strength. It's ridiculous, but it is pretty fucking sweet. <laughs> so, all right, there. And I still have almost twenty thousand caps to spend. Ridiculous.
talk to this guy. I get to go on a patrol tomorrow. Good for you, buddy. I'm, I'm happy for you. I really am, Jerry. You know, even though you are slightly retarded, that's okay, though. 